this greatness? Yo, what's up? This is Grip. And y'all gonna have to check me out on the next episode of I Only Touch Greatness with my boy Ryan and my boy Royal, because that's just gonna be lit. Tap in. Um, <laughs> you know, we try having fun, bro. We have fun. No, I man. know, I know, I know. I, I get it. I get it. You uh it's all good. The uh, I wanted to know what your <laughs> What your personal highlight of your career is so far? Like, what is the moment that you look back on the most and think this this is the favorite moment? Oh. I think probably performing at a uh, summer jam, the K-Day summer jam, when, um, when uh, it was, you know, of course, so long ago, but I think that was my favorite moment. That was my first time performing in front of, you know, tens of thousands of people. And just the moment of um, if, of just being given the mic, just coming from sitting in your living room, writing raps, you know, in a little apartment with your mom. And then, you know, now you, you got this mic and you're rapping in front of tens of thousands of people. And they're like showing you love and shit that that was fucking crazy. And I'll never forget that day because that was the day that I met Easy E um, a little bit before he passed. Um, Scarface was there. You know when they do these summer jams, yeah. Pac was there. Mm. Um, I remember Pac running around and shit. And it's just like so fucking surreal, man. Like being backstage with all of these people, man. And some of them are gone. And just um, what about feeling? I don't know. It's amazing. What about a dream venue? That stage. Oh, it probably would be Madison Square Garden because the, that's just the, the fucking place. Like, the Mecca. You rock, huh? It's like the Mecca of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? It's Mecca. Yeah. Of, it's uh, celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, celebrity, highly, anything. You know what I'm saying? You always want to go to Madison Square Garden. No lie. Yeah. I know, I know. That's like a probably a typical answer, but that shit is so real. Like it would have to be Madison Square Garden, man. That shit is fucking lit. I mean, I would love. I think I've kind of, I've done like some of the spots and stuff out here, but the Madison Square Garden would just be crazy. Can, can you tell us about your song "Pop Goes the Nine? No, let me bust it. Hitting fools up like a bat. No women anymore. Crazy mouth still lyrically fat. Too many. Oh my God! Yeah, that was my first single on A and M Records that never really got to came out. Come out. It's just been all over the gram. I'm um, not the gram. All over YouTube and shit. Um, so a lot of people have heard it. Um, so that was my first single um, that we picked off after I made my album on A and M, and um, we got a dope video for it that never came out. That I just got transferred to a uh, digital format and a. Uh, Ice was asking for it, uh, and I just sent. I just emailed it to him like a few weeks ago. So I think he's gonna like post it or put it out, and you guys will be able to see it for the first time. Um, which the video's freaking crazy. I think it's um, it's like a take. Is it on Reservoir Dogs? Ice wrote the 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 script for it, but it's like like mm. a little mini. It's like it's a concept video basically mm. is what I'm going to say. But um, yeah, the song is like, you know, like just classic me. I don't know if you guys have heard it, but it's just like some hardcore shit. And, uh, and then we threw ice on the sample pop, 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 pop goes the nine. Don't you hear it? Yeah. Pop, 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 pop goes the nine. And then the story is I had to do a reggae version of the hook because a and M um didn't let they thought the hook was too controversial so oh. i had to kind of like water it down so the the um i think the actual version on the video is not it's not even the the like the real hardcore one it's the one with the reggae hook so okay yeah, yeah. i think that's the, that's the one i think i heard yeah, see, that's that shit. I, I I don't even halfway remember that, but I do remember I had to use that for the video because the record label kicked back the real version of the of the song, which is oh. the hardcore one where Ice is saying "pop pop pop goes the nine. Mm, you know, right. am I wrong? Or did I, 
Did Ice T put out a? Am I wrong or did Ice T just put out an album within the last day or two? I think he. I don't know. Is it his album? I think it might be his rock album, isn't it? I think. I saw him. I thought I saw him post something, but I'd be drinking. So. uh, Oh wait a minute! No, I'd be drinking too. Wait a minute! Me too. (laughs) That's so funny. The Legend of Ice T Crime Stories, all the story raps from my eight albums plus five unreleased tracks. Mm. Collector's triple vinyl release. Okay, that's dope. So it's the. Crime I thought he did it like a rock album. Like I think it was last year or this year. I the Body that, Count album. Yeah, I think it. I think it was about another Body Count hey, album. I think one more. One more thing we gotta throw in too. They got a new one. They. They got a new one they just finished, but I don't think it's out yet. Oh, it's not out? Ooh, that's going to yeah. be dope. I like when he gets his rock bag. 